Before we get into this video, I do want to say that I had a lot bigger hopes and aspirations for this feature. I really wish we were able to visit a random dream island, as well as be able to leave a form of comment or something like a, like a post on their announcement board or something to say, hey, I was here, look at me, you know, like your island's cool, you know, just to let the person know that you visited their island. Because right now it's almost like, why don't you just visit their island normally? But yeah, let's talk about dreams. In this video, we're going to be talking about dreams. And to access the dream world, we have to go to sleep. You go lie on a bed and you just say, I want to sleep. And you just sleep like in this position. I wish I could sleep in that position. It takes me like two hours to fall asleep. But finally, once you've fallen asleep, you'll meet Luna in your dreams. And she will guide you through multiple things that you can do. You can share a dream, which kind of saves a snapshot of what your island is currently and lets you share it via a code to anyone in the world, you can share the code to them and they can visit your island from that snapshot. And you're able to update this snapshot only once a day. So if you wanna change it or do something else, you're gonna to have to wait till the following day to actually change, to actually update your thing. And this code is actually shared on your passport and your map. And also you can share it to friends like via text message or however you wanna advertise this little code. Obviously, you can also take your friend's codes and go to I want to dream and, <laughs> and wanting to dream and actually sends you to a person's island. You just type in their code and it's almost kind of like a Dota code, but it's actually 12 characters long and you type it in there and it'll literally take you to the snapshot of their island from where they last updated it. It's a great way to share your island and show people what you've done as well as freely explore other people's islands without breaking or damage anything in real time. You can kind of just go nuts like you can pick up the flowers, you can run around, destroy everything everything but it's pretty crazy though and it's also a great way to like look around and get some ideas and inspiration for your own island it even lets you access all of their custom designs in terms of clothes and just their normal custom designs from this little console that you find on their residential services you can just go and access all of their custom designs and take home a souvenir if you will to keep on your own island if you sign something that's really cool where you can speak to all of the villagers, you're unable to actually go into any of the shops because they're closed on that day for some reason. But you can basically explore the island and just look around, interact with different things, pick things up. It's pretty interesting, but you can't actually use any tools because you don't have your inventory with you. So you kind of just have to freely explore destroying flowers, picking up flowers, <laughs> and that's pretty much it. I guess, you know, it's kind of like a safe way to share your island without having to monitor if this person is like literally destroying all your flowers or something, you know, or like destroying your villagers by talking to them and making them leave because <laughs> that has happened to people. And you can also find that actual person on their island just walking around as a normal NPC villager and you can talk to them and they have like a weird thing that it says there. But I don't know if they actually get to pick or you get to pick how this what this thing is because it just randomly says something random that makes no sense to me. There is also a feature to report an island if you find something offensive or like racist or you know something that's just like hate, hateful and just horrible or nudity or anything that doesn't belong on Animal Crossing. You can't just press the minus button and report the island dream wherever you are. Like you could be literally walking on the other side of the island, press that button, it will kind of let you report it and it will shortly after take you out of the island back to your own island so you can leave that hateful place. <laughs> And that's pretty much it for the dreams. I mean, I, honestly, I kind of expected a little bit more. I, I I don't know. Like, I feel, I feel oddly let down that the fact that you have to type in a code to visit a specific island. I was like really hoping that we could just like, oh, I want to have a random dream tonight. Like, you know, just random island. Literally click a random one, and it takes you to some random island that you can look at and explore. And you know, maybe like a section to like leave little comments on it. You know, I th I thought something like that would be a lot cooler. This feels like really just share your island with your friend. I mean, if you're gonna use your friend's code, you might as well just visit their island in person. You know, and interact with them. Why why only look at their island in this kind of sense? <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing at what I'm doing here. It's it's hilarious. I really think they should have given us a way to visit a random dream and be able to leave like a comment or something somewhere on the island to say, hey, I was here. Because how do you actually find out that people visited your island? Um, you know, through a dream. Like you, you have no you have no idea how many people may have looked at it and you have no way of seeing what they thought. Like I, I really think they should have left a comment, a place to like leave comments and just, you know, interact with your island like so that you as a person sharing your dream at least get to see what people think. You know, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in a future video. Thank you for watching.